While thousands of our peers in the 2022 Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCP exams have joined secondary school, Doreen Idza remains desolate. The 15-year-old scored 310 marks in the exams and she was among the best pupils at a slum school in Kisauni sub-county of Mombasa County where she was under sponsorship. Doreen's incredible performance and her a Form 1 slot in Kibirigui Girls Secondary School in Kirinyaga County, a dream that now appears elusive due to the abject poverty her family is grappling with. Since the release of 2022 KCP exam results, Doreen, a second born in a family of three, has been left to seek other alternatives to ensure her dream to become an accountant does not fade away. Together with her father, she has been combing the neighborhood looking for manual jobs to raise her Form 1 school fees. Uh, my dream career is to be a doctor in future. Uh, Ningependa kusaidia wazazi ama wanafunzi wenzangu wenye wanapitia kwa hii challenge ambayo mimi napitia. Ningependa pia kuokoa maisha ya watu mbeleni. When we caught up with her, she was at the entrance of a saloon selling sunflower, groundnut, baobab seeds, homemade soaps and omena. Yet she is supposed to be in school. As paka sasa bado sijafaulu kwenda shule kwa sababu Tulikuwa tujapata hizo pesa za school fees za kondoko shule na nilipoona babangu wamekuwa ma, kwa tulijaribu kutafuta basari lakini tulikosa tunakaamua an huyu mwenye aunt yango mwenye hapa saluni na akaniamua akaamua ni nipe hii biashara hapa nifanye alafu ananipa 50 per day class hii biashara ya kuuza mabuyu ambayo ni 5 bob sunflower ambayo ni 10 bob Jugu ambayo ni 10 bob na sabuni ni 20 na omena pia ni 20. Sasa alivo maliza class 8 ni kamuuliza amepata max ngapi, hakaniambia amepata 310. Lakini ilivo fika sasa watoto wameenda intake, haka shindo kwa sababu hakuna school fees. Sasa ndiyo ni kawongia na babake ni kamambia badala akaye idol, anaeza kakuja hapa kazini kwangu, akaja haka nisaidia. Ni nafanya biashara kadha wa kadha. His father, Huxley Mwadzoya, a 45-year-old, has been struggling to feed and educate his remaining three daughters. He has walked to many offices including Frere Town MCA office, Nyali CDF office, Mombasa Deputy Governor Francis Toya's office, even the Catholic Church, but all in vain. Tragedy and misfortune has followed Mwadzoya. In 2015, he was knocked down by a car and hospitalized for almost two months. But after making a full recovery, he lost his job at a furniture shop where he had worked for 15 years. Eh, katika maisha yangu, me face a lot of challenges. Mm, Niliachua na mamangu 2017, ambupu nilipukua na miaka kumina moja. Don kasa sasa tuko kuna siblings zangu wawili tunalelewa na baba yetu kwa hiyo ndio mzazi pekee peke yake yeye ndo anafanya kazi ili ndo sisi tukule kama kazi hakuna tunakaa hivyo tunangoja riziki ya siku nyingine 2 years later his wife suddenly got sick and died after 3 days in 2019 the house he lived in was raised to the ground and with it everything he has ever worked for in his life including all his official documents he had to start from zero again mwazoya says his daughter dorin also suffers from sickle cell anemia and has to take medication every day <laughs> mtu anambia ni mchotee maji mchotee maji mtu kimoja shilingi 10 tunachota maji nikipata mahali nalimalima nalimalima napata riski ya kule, kule watoto sasa katika changamoto hiyo ile riski ambayo inatafuta kila siku na inabidi sana nikipata pale kile kidogo ninachokipata nitafute dawa za mtoto kwa sababu mtoto ni sikla Wana, dawa moja ni karibu karibu 15 shillings na huwa anakula mbili Wana. Kuna hiyo hydroxyurea, anakula, kuna folic, kuna folic, lafu kuna, kuna dawa nyingine pia huwa, na nalazima zote, zote nanuwe. Kama itakuwa uh, klinik sijafika ama dawa zimesha hapo katikati, lazima ninunua. Sofia Musioka, a neighbor, says he has watched Mwazoya struggle to feed and educate his children and decided to ask Doreen to help her at the shop. Uh, 
ningependa kuambia well wishers wanisaidie wani support niweze niweze kupata masomo niende nikasome shuleni ndio niweze kukuza future niweze kukuza future yangu na dream career yangu sasa nilikuwa naomba well wishers wamsaidie Doreen kwa sababu ni orphan hana mama yuko na baba peke yake na baba ni mtu vile ninavomjua yuko hard working manake pia ako na watoto wengine wawili ambaye anashughulika kwa jumla wote ni watoto watatu ambaye anawasaidia na kama mnavoona hana uwezo wa mtoto kwenda shule Dorina amepita vizuri anatamani kukuwa na bright future hapo baadaye tulikuwa tunaomba kama kuna well wishers wamsaidie hata akiweza kuperform vizuri afike hata university Dorin is seeking for good samaritan to come to her aid for her to join high school for Ebru TV Amode Francis